Keep watching Charis TV. Greetings in the name of Jesus. Uh, I would like to thank the Lord because he has blessed me with the car. Amen. Uh, I'm going to say that 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 I'm going to I will say to people, I think we must stand with our principles. I said to people, he came and said, God gave him a car. I'm sure he was still checking where he found the finance. <laughs> he was checking if it's God or himself, I'm sure. I didn't want him to check. I wanted to cut him, but I felt pity of him. Amen. Uh, because here yeah, I want something straight. If we say we are doing this, don't come later and... Uh, you say you want to do this. I just want us to do something straight. Amen. Amen. Uh, because remember, another thing is, uh, especially pastors, the Bible Kudu says we must not cry to be pastors. Because we are going to be judged a lot. There are things that, even when you are going to preach your message, why don't you come and, say, and preach once to say God told you? Because if you start to establish the issue of God told you, God told you, you keep quiet and say, you think I speak with him that way. I'm sure you understand that. Many things to learn as pastors. Become fair to ourselves. Because we are becoming unfair to church. In the issue of gaining people. Whereas the Bible says, God Himself, you will bring people to God. So, anyhow, let's see this car. It looks like the car, Mama, you, you receive not long. The buggy, you say you wanted buggy. My brother bought the same. It's beautiful. But you are going to buy it also, na li. I'm sure he didn't want to tell us about his buggy because he is not tithy. <laughs> you, know, you know, I've got many criminals here. That, is, that, you know, if you, I want to ask him if he's tithing first. You can answer me, sir. No, and yes. <laughs> so, how do you buy a car? And dedicate it to the chair. Can you see you have. I dedicate a car. You can see yourself now. You will live a life of a lie because you will be afraid to tell us who you are in the church when the world knows you outside there. So, well, God loves you. No one will judge you, you will judge yourself. Let's hear your, 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 your testimony. I greet you all again, once again, saints, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Um, I'm, I'm one of the, the young people who used to come here. Sometimes some of the brethren used to donate money for me to ne, come to church. I started working and I was earning an amount of uh, just over 3,000 rand a month. I remember one day the apostle told me there was something that was blocking me. I so in the ministry. And he was just passing. It's not like he was concentrating on me in the service. Um, I remember I fell down. Uh, I applied for a position where I saw <laughs> it had a lot of money, but I don't think I, I qualified. Apply a position more, no one qualified. 
They rejected me. Bangana. Where I was working, I just decided, you know what? Uh, the apostle said a word. Uh, so that word is going to work for me. When I got there, I just told them I wanted the head of HR of the company. They sent me away. I just sat down there, acted like I was busy on my phone. I told them I said I'm waiting for the head here. Uh, after that, the head came came down, I think about two hours later. He said, who are you looking for? I said, you. Uh, we spoke for a while, and then, yeah, he just asked me after a while, uh, which job do you want? And that's how I got to the company. I just want to, I'm saying this testimony so, so the, the young people of the church can be inspired. Thank you very much. We thank God that you brought your car, though you are a church. You know, we thank God for you. And uh, we believe that from today, you are repenting. And uh, God will bless you. Let's hear the issue of dedicating the car, Mama. I TV let us say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we cover this car with the blood of Jesus. It will never lack petrol to move, never stuck along the road. It is covered by the blood of Jesus. You will never lack money to take care of your car, and you will never make an accident with this car. So shall it be. In Jesus' name, amen. Uh, me, I was not part of this. I didn't pray because I don't play with pretenders. Next time when he becomes faithful is then I will go and touch his car. Because most of the time, what is happening today is you are, you are blessing sinners. The, the Bible said, don't take what is holy and give it to what? To dogs. It's also a sin to do that. It's also a sin to take what is holy. Think about you are taking, uh, let's call it what? Holy Communion. Eh? Holy Communion. Holy Communion. Uh, think about that. You take Holy Communion to a drunkard. Do you think Jesus was easy to pray for people? Jesus could not just bless people. He will check first. When you met a a, a Samaritan woman. What is it that he said? Did he just prophesy? Huh? He spoke about the desire that she had, water, and tried to make it to understand. And she, he said, I won't give you. Go and call your husband. Jesus said that. The reasons why today we are, I mean, even some of us are better than us nowadays. It's because we are, we are praying for everyone. We are praying for everyone. Our Lord Jesus Christ will search for a person. This one is a cripple. And he heal the cripple and disappear. Because he knows that that crippled person is known by people. And Jesus knew very well that his ministry of healing 
you know, makes him to be attacked more. If we have a gift, we need to safeguard it without playing with it. The moment when you use up your gift, it's possible to lose that gift. It's possible. We are in danger today because of wrong people. What's the reason why they don't testify? What is the reason why in our churches we don't have testimonies? Because we are praying for everyone. After we pray for them, like the brother there. Brother, you say when you start here, you come here, you are earning 3,000. 3,000. Think about that, brother. 3,000. Today, is dedicating a car which is above 600,000. But he doesn't believe in tithe. He's in charis. People like this are in charis. And what makes him to be given a job and be prosper to reach this level? Because right now, what he got is funeral. I want to tell you something. You don't know what I'm talking about. You are here. And the anointing began to work for you. Are you hearing me? Amen. After the anointing works for you, you don't honor God. But the anointing is working for you. You don't honor God. Do you think Satan is happy with you? No. You can be given a car for accident to die. A blessing can be a curse. I've got many people, I've been warning them. Don't be excited. Don't be excited. I'm just warning everyone by this brother. Because I love this brother. Don't be excited of any blessing. Because that blessing will need you to know that now the enemies that fought you when you're not waking, there might be thousands now. So, we are just excited by clapping hands for you. You need to stand in the things of the Spirit. You heard what I said? Amen. Me, I didn't clap hands or stretch my hand on that car. I want to wait for this man first to tithe. You understand? Amen. The moment when he tithes, he must come and show me, today I'm tithing. I will say, bring your car now. It's then I will touch it now. Because we are, why do we have to play by the grace of God? Do you know that the covenant, the ark of the covenant was there to protect the Israelites and prove that God is among them. But it was also dangerous to them was also dangerous to them. What happened when it was taken? They shouted the way they shout, but defeat came to them. If the anointing can be taken away from you, you still have the results of the anointing. That doesn't mean that you are going somewhere. Just forget. I think uh, maybe because I'm big day, you understand? That's why Zochela 9-9. Zochela 9-9, because you understand? Because many of you now, you are happy about what God is doing on you. But do you need him? It's better he doesn't do anything, but you have him. Are you hearing me? It's better you don't see results of anything, but you have who? God than to cry for results, right? This is the reason why now our people going everywhere searching for results. And they don't know who's giving them results. You know, when I was coming here, I, I was hearing, there are some people when they say, hallelujah, you say what? Amen. And some hallelujahs are not hallelujahs. Some hallelujahs are different. They are calling tokolosh. When you say amen. 
They are, they are on occultic powers. You say what? Amen. Amen. This is the time now that you mind about your Christian life. We stop doing what? Pretending. So, brother, I'm waiting for you. You understand? Yeah. You hear what I said? Yes, yes, did. I'm waiting for you. Me, I have not called your car a blessing. The church call it blessing. Me, I'm still calling it a curse. Yes, sir. So, after it now, you stand to be a Christian now. You believe in tithing. You see, people are fighting tithing. They are fighting this issue of pastoral uh, authority that God has placed in fivefold ministry. And now people who will follow these things are those who are loving money now than loving God. They will say, yes, yes, yes. Pastors here, yeah, they love money so much. They love money so much. Jesus also said, give Caesar what belongs to and God what belongs to what. So...